place the oxygen cylinder on the cylinder cart and properly secure it. Remember, never move any cylinder without the cylinder safety cap on. Place the acetylene cylinder on the cylinder cart and properly secure it. Always keep acetylene tanks upright, never lay them on their sides. Visually inspect the hoses, making sure that there are no cracks or visible wear. Inspect the cutting torch looking for any damage or broken parts. Remove the oxygen cylinder safety cap. Attach the regulator valve to the oxygen cylinder. Be careful not to over tighten. Remove the acetylene cylinder safety cap. Attach the regulator valve to the acetylene cylinder. Open the cylinders and regulators to charge the lines. Use soapy water to look for leaks. If the fittings are loose, they will bubble. Shut everything down and tighten the fitting. When setting the PSI for the acetylene, typically 5 PSI is enough. Never go above 15 PSI as this is very dangerous. When setting the PSI for the oxygen, typically 40 PSI is enough. As before, use soapy water to check all fittings. Roll up any excess hose. Only keep out what you need. During inspection, the cutting tip showed damage and needed to be replaced. Notice the damage to the tip on the left. Always wear a welding coat, welding gloves, cutting safety glasses, 
and a face shield. Notice the exposed skin in this picture. Tuck your chin down to cover any exposed skin. Before you start cutting, inspect the area for anything that might catch fire. Always maintain a 35 foot radius around where you are cutting to prevent a fire. Lightly dampen the area you will be cutting as an extra precaution. It is required that you have a fire watch set up for hot work. This should be their only job and they must stay in place 30 minutes after hot work has completed. Once you are done, close the valves on the cylinders and bleed the hoses. Disconnect the regulators from the acetylene and oxygen cylinders and put the cylinder safety caps back on. Place the cylinders back in the appropriate storage containers. Never store cylinders on the cart inside the building. 